punch out, shoot my legs underneath, and I'm going to find stability. A lot of people, even like Kyle Lamb and these guys, teach this. And that's all fine and dandy. But at the end of the day, I may need to turret my body. I may have to turn my body to engage multiple threats, okay? And as long as I'm inside this beacon, I have a left and right lateral limit. I'm punched out engaging this threat, okay, from here. I can now turn. Keeping it down here is all fine and dandy, but if something goes on, you, you end up, you're going to end up pulling your feet into the thing. I want, we're much safer knowing my feet right, right now. When they're out here in the wind trying to hold these down, this to me seems ab abnormal. Well, I sit like this all the time, watching TV, lying in bed, whatever. I never in a thousand years do this. Now, I do this, but once again, this doesn't seem very normal either. If I'm going to have to do that, I'm going to go ahead and embrace this where I can turret my body around like a tank turret. Okay? This is straight in the back. If I need to, for instance, shoot around a piece of cover such as a tire, we're going to talk about that. Imagine I'm sitting behind a tire's wheel well, a car's wheel well. I'm actually going to roll over to my side, and I'm going to pull my feet back naturally behind it. So I'm behind a piece of cover right now, and from here I can engage. If I need to, I can crouch in and put my knees, my hand in between my knees and make sure this ensures and 100% I know where my legs are at right now. And at the same time, I can still turn my body if I have to. All right, I have a couple play to do transition target. From here, feet staying out of the way, I can roll to this side. Take my shots. I'll be behind cover right now for demo purposes only. From here. Here, once I want to holster, leg comes down. From here, holster the firearm. Standing up. Sitting up. Posting a hand. We're all going to practice over and over again. Posting a hand. Other hand comes up, I'm going to pull myself to my knee here so I can stand up. The reason why we need to do it like this is because I can do this gun hot, gun out. So I'm here, but I'm not going to do it on that side. Guns out. I sit up, post my hand. I can still remain on the threat, but I need to get up and get out of here. I come to my knee. We're now in that position we learned about in the other, the, 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 the uh, weak side knee. Here, push up. Now I'm in a good standing fighting stance. Okay, push that again. 